Good morning, I'm George Weller, an application engineer with Lincoln Electric, and this morning on Masterclass from Arc Magazine, we'll be covering submerged arc welding. Submerged arc welding is a high deposition, high penetration process, very similar to GMAW or MIG welding, with the big exception, instead of using a shielding gas, we'll be using a granulated flux to shield the arc from the atmosphere and to protect the operator instead of a shielding gas. We use a large diameter wire, typically 1 16th through 3 16th diameter, down through the wire feeder, through the contact tip, creates an arc with the base metal. Our flux is going to be coming from our hopper, down through the hose, and shielding the arc. Submerged arc welding is typically used for long straight welds on heavy metal, such as you find in shipyards, barge yards, heavy construction, heavy fabrication. It can also be used on large roundabouts, such as rebuilding steel mill caster rolls, um, doing circumferential welds on tanks, pressure vessels, etc. So today, first I'm gonna show you a single arc, submerged arc weld. It's gonna be on DC positive. We can also use DC negative and AC. DC positive is the most stable, and the highest penetrating of the three uh, waveforms we can use. DC negative would be the most deposition, but the least penetration and the least stable. AC is a combination of those two, and using AC square wave, we are able to manipulate that wave to give us the best balance of positive and negative for each application. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open my flux hopper, get some flux started, and when I'm ready, all I have to do is hit the green button. Today we're going to be running 650 amps, 30 volts, at a travel speed of 20 inches per minute. As you can see, the slag was pretty much self-peeling. That is a sign of a very good submerged arc weld. Oftentimes in a deep groove, the slag doesn't come out that easy and we have to adjust the procedures to help the slag release. Okay, now that we've seen single arc, we're gonna look, take a look at tandem arc. Single arc will cover most applications for submerged arc welding, but oftentimes we need a higher travel speed, higher deposition rate, maybe a larger bead over the same distance. So we'll go to a tandem arc. We have a lead wire. The purpose of the lead wire is to dig a hole or get the penetration we require. The purpose of the trail wire, it gives us extra fill and give us the bead profile we're looking for. If that's still not enough deposition, we can add a third wire and go to triple arc, or we can go to four, or even six, up to six wires in one system. What that does, every wire adds more deposition. So with this system, what I'm gonna do first, since I don't have a flux hopper hooked up, I'm gonna put the flux down by hand. Then I go over to my controller. Now hit the start button. Now on this weld, our lead wire, we are actually running the same procedures we were running on the single wire submerged arc, but our trail wire, we added in 600 amps, 34 volts, and we were running it on AC. AC gives us a higher deposition rate than straight DC does. By running a DC positive on the lead and an AC on the trail, it gives us a nice stable bead, good penetration, good bead profile. I'm George Wellard. Thank you again for watching Masterclass from Arc Magazine.